question about Terry, what is the total like CCP running dog? He came out again. Miles uh, talked to talk about this uh, years ago. I think five years ago, like he said, he's just a proxy of uh, Chinese Communist Party and he earned uh, like billions of dollars from from the CCP. And now he just came out to run uh, for the president. And you're absolutely right about the KMT. Um, but let's say like now they're they're mobilizing troops and uh, she is betting on, you know, the fact that United States cannot fight uh, two wars at the same time or the NATO's cannot fight a food, uh, two wars. One is the Russian-Ukraine war, one is like the war is gonna happen in Taiwan. And he's betting on it. And then he, he's also like this, we talk, when we talk about infiltration, um, the CCP does not just infiltrate uh, the West or the US and the apparatus around the, the government. The CCP also infiltrate Taiwan and the, and the KMT, uh, when you talk about it, John. And so how different would US act uh, between those two scenario scenarios? One is like after uh, PLA came like the, the uh, Taiwanese would just uh, fight ferociously against it um, and fight back. And the, the other scenarios would be um, right after PLA came, they would just uh, surrender. So how different would U.S. act in those scenarios? Well, I mean, I know we have a lot of concerns about Biden, Hunter, a corrupt uh, U.S. government, you know, which Miles is, is a victim of, of, of just very nefarious behavior and bought off elements, uh, corrupt elements inside the FBI, DOJ, and DHS. Yeah, we got our problems here and we got to deal with that. But uh, I think in the end, uh, there's going to be very strong, uh, it's going to be very obvious once the CCP gets closer to a decision. I mean, first and foremost, though, remember, one thing we haven't talked about that's very important in America here, they want to collapse America without having to fight us. So a lot of the war is going on right now. It's called fentanyl. And, you know, we've had uh, several uh, uh, CCP Chinese nationals been indicted by the Department of Justice for overseeing the Sinaloa cartel in Northern Mexico. So I would say one of the first places we need to hit back is we need an authorization to use military force in Northern Mexico. And that's where we can start striking and rounding up uh, uh, using military force if necessary. Uh, I, I treat the Chinese uh, on the ground in Central America. I call them paramilitaries. And that gives us, once we sign an authorization to use military force, that means we can uh, uh, eliminate them on the ground, okay, in northern Mexico and other places in Central America. But that's, that's step one of the war, is trying to collapse us through fentanyl made 100% with CCP formulary components assembled in final form in northern Mexico under supervision of CCP agents, paramilitaries, brought into America to collapse America. So we got to hit that. We got to hit that hard. And there is, uh, would not be surprised to see, uh, we're losing 10,000 Americans a month right now from fentanyl. You know, in last year we lost 70,000. That's more than the entire 40 years of combat in the Vietnam War combined with the war on terror in one year by, by CCP fentanyl.